This is Jimmy Papadopoulos reporting you from Madman Black TV, where we report mad black guys in action. Location unknown, but we're about to get a live interview from a mad black man. Wish me luck. Fuck you! God damn it! Sir, would you like to say a few words on Madman Black TV with angry black men? Uh, yeah, uh, this game is really into it and, uh, uh... We can hear you. You are so into it. You are so pissed off at the game, sir. Yeah, uh, this game is passionate as hell. Watch yourself, watch yourself. Okay, cuz, ah, oh, blood! I have it. Another black man. Angry at the world over a video game. Reporting live. Stay with us. Until next time, back to you. Right. So apparently, my roommate got me real good this morning. Yes, I'd be walling out playing video games. But yes, I enjoy it. Oh my God, it's so fucking therapeutic. <sighs> Even I'm not a... Um, immune to making an ass out of myself. If I did, whatever, you know. During these tough times of being isolated from people. And if you knew me, I'm a very big social butterfly. You know, and this isolation thing clearly is taking its toll on me. Outside looking in, in my defense, you know, maybe I should put on a shirt, huh? Okay, much better. All right, so back to what I was talking about. Listen, I'm human just like everybody else. If you prick me, do I not bleed? So with that being said, if I'm playing a really passionate game, like Black Ops, God of War, you know, or something of immediate interest, I might get drawn into the game. However though, if I'm on the mic, headphones and everything, you know, people, they're, they're basic game talk. You could talk shit, whatever. But when you start saying racial slurs to people for no apparent reason, that's where I draw the line. People talk mess all the time to me, and that's okay. I can handle it, because at the end of the day, I know my personal value and worth. The point where I'm going with this is, I get extreme erection, for lack of a better word, when they talk mess to me and I put them in their place, which happens constantly while I'm gaming. Some people might be their teens. I play people who's actually 10 years older than I am, and I'm 40. But the point of the story is, results. And that's all that matters when it comes to me raging out on video games. Besides, being cooped up in the house is bound to drive somebody bonkers. You cannot say that any of you have not been dealing with this quarantine well. If so, you're a liar. That's all I got. Wake up, everybody, for I am losing my mind. Singing in rhyme, this cannot be a good sign. Too much time on my hands now, the voices have my head. Cannot make a sandwich, or because I'm out of bread. Fuck. Well, despite me sharing a personal and vulnerable moment of my life with the rest of the nation on YouTube, I'm ready to go back to work to doing the one thing I love to do best. Mmm. Nerdy mediocrity. Oh. Nothing like a good screensaver to keep you motivated during your YouTubing antics. You're mistaking an uh, anime character for the Not real listening. Thing. That is not Scarlett Johansson. I really think you need to go out and get some air. Shut up, boys. You don't control me. Besides, she's a real person. Don't you know the difference between fantasy and fiction? <sighs> of course I know the difference. Dude, I... Huh. Huh. Okay, I need to go outside and get some air. How's everybody doing out there? This is CJ from... QIV slash CJAC Productions. 
Oh God, I should have done this sooner. You don't get more isolated than this. I'm out here in the middle of one of the, the Las Vegas washes and uh, you don't get more isolated than this. Just making sure I'm burning these calories, clearing my head a bit. I started hearing voices. <laughs> but uh, yeah, make sure you guys are getting plenty of exercise. This is my public, public servant's announcement. You know, just because you're staying inside away from them things, that virus doesn't mean you can let yourself go. You gotta keep this sexy. Look at that. Perfection. Gotta make sure, drink that in, guys. Bask in it. Yeah, that's right, you got a responsibility. You know, some people say I don't look 40. Oh, I never noticed this before. Wow. Tripping. Anyway, I'm just rambling at this point. Finally got some air, I feel better. All right, let's go ahead and pick this up a bit. I don't know what I've been told. What's up guys, this is CJ here, bringing you another random clip. In the meantime, in between time of this whole coronavirus thing, while I try to keep my sanity, I'm checking out shows and clips of things that I've missed throughout the year. Like for example, this meat cannon with the Pinocchio. Ironically, I missed one. This came out my birthday month last year, I believe. So without any delay, you know how meat cannon rolls. Let's go ahead and check this out. And there we go. All finished. Do I look like a real boy, Papa? You will one day, my little wooden boy. One day. But I cannot wait any longer, Papa. I must become flesh and bone. Dear God, Pinocchio, what are you doing? I must consume your soul to become a real boy. Dear God, where's that fairy? Fairy, take away this puppet <laughs> boy's life. He's evil. He's nothing but pure evil. Jesus Christ, Lord of mercy on my soul, please save me. Good Lord, where's a box of matches when I need it? <laughs> <laughs> See, they did it again. Dude, that mouth though. His death will not be comfortable. It just won't. And in the beginning, let me go back, man. Let me absorb this some bit. Um, like right about here, your boy, <laughs> why? <laughs> Between, uh, I forgot what the, the, um, the puppeteer's name, uh, Bocello, whatever. I don't know. I'm not too familiar with Disney folk tales like that. He's already slouched over, you know what I'm saying? His features, his hands, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's out of proportion, you know? And then there's Pinocchio. Look like, just slouched over. Look like, why did he make him so big and disturbing, man? And then, let, let me run that back again. And then there's the voice. The voice is what creeped me out the most. It Like all Meat Cannon's episodes. L listen to this voice. But I cannot wait any one day. But I cannot wait any longer, Papa. I must become flesh and bone. Flesh. Dear God, yes. Pinocchio, what are you doing? I must consume your soul to become a real boy. Dear God, where's that? <laughs> oh, God, man. Woo! Meat cannon. Anyway. All right, guys. Well, back to your, my regular daily activities. I just had to, I had to share this. Oops. Wait. Yeah, I had to share this. So, uh, end of a nice day. Beautiful sunset. And um, I like to come up in my patio right up here and just think, you know, just reflect. And uh, just take some time to myself, you know, while it's quiet. And um, I want to take a serious moment to tell you guys that life is very precious. Don't waste it. You know, yeah, it sounds like a public service announcement, but I'm serious. You know, enjoy yourself while you can, because there's not too much time that you can't enjoy yourself with. You know, the pandemic was just a small reminder of how fragile life is. So spend it wisely. Love each other. You know. 
Um, I want to take this moment to acknowledge all those people who died, who give them their careers and their lives, making other people happy, you know, much like what I'm doing myself, you know, other artists like um, my favorite voice actor, for example, Brandy Smurf, uh, Danny Goldman, he passed away from the coronavirus and so did Julie Bennett. Uh, I believe she played Cindy Bear from the Yogi Bear show back in the day, you know. I keep up with voice actors, you know, what can I say? That's just my thing. Um, a lot of people didn't make it, you know, just to name a few, you know. Uh, a couple NBA players actually caught the virus, you know, and they're surviving it, you know. I guess my point to you guys is just, you know, just keep yourselves, you know, in mind how um, fragile things are. And how we can all just go in a moment's notice, you know? Don't have any regrets, you know? Just cherish that. Um, live your life to the fullest. Do what you have to. And more importantly, don't let people who tell you you can't do something, just do it. You know, whether I judge you, the guy down the street judge you, just do it. As long as you're happy and not hurting others, as far as I'm concerned, it's all right. Well... That's it for this week's episode of QIV. Didn't have much to go on. Hope you guys enjoyed the week. It wasn't much to go on, you know, being stayed in place. Um, join us next week for episode four. Also, I want to actually mention while I'm up here about the contest. Whenever you see this screen spot, yes, that's when you know the contest has begun. During a CJ random review, once we hit that 300 mark, once I find out we hit 300, I will obviously announce the winner, and I will obviously just throw that screenshot up there. That will be your mark to send your, um, hey, I have one email address to CJ, cjmaster35 at gmail.com. So again, to reiterate the rules of the game, to get your free Healer Packer 2-in-1 laptop. Once you see this shot, that's when you should email me. I've won as soon as possible. So, to my 300 subscriber, good luck to you. All right. So, uh, until next time, take care of each other. Wash those hands. Survive this. Peace. <laughs>